Good evening, everybody, and let's get rocking and rolling over here at the Fireworks Factory. Yes. This episode of Star 3, number 22, we are going to go to the Fireworks Factory, as I just said. Now, this, uh, this level, well, if it looks familiar to you, that would be because it's where they uh, filmed the opening, essentially. And uh, we have Greta here from Sparrow 2. From Scorch. Scorch? I think it was Scorch. In Sparrow 2. Yeah. Uh, now these enemies here, you might notice they don't give off gems. And it's because they're running on the mysterious powers of Sparrow 2. No, they're running off of... Um, they ha There's generators on the top of the hill. So it's not really worth necessarily going through and killing all of the enemies just yet because well they're just gonna keep there and respawn which I, I think just realized and decided to move on so I tackled this level where I just kind of went straight for it and decided to uh, to come back for everything later speaking of later we actually have to backtrack here this is our first of many levels we're going to have to backtrack to in um well in this lovely world here because there's a lot of backtracking to be done here at the end of this. Now, if you're me, and by which I mean, if I realized what I realized now in the past, I would have gone and done Lost Fleet now. Instead of Fireworks Factory. And there's still time for you if you're playing along. You can totally backtrack and leave this level and go to the to uh, Lost Fleet instead of the Fireworks Factory. As long as you don't 100% complete the level, when you leave, well, there's still time. Why? Well, because as I just mentioned, there's a lot of backtracking, and if you do Lost Fleet now, you can save yourself backtracking, but, um, I did not. Sadly, I have to backtrack a lot. I mean, you have to backtrack to this either way, so it doesn't really matter when you do it. Because, well, uh, we have to, oh, more enemies, okay. Let's get them dead so we can use this cannon to fly our butts over the gap. Yeah. She can just jump in, but we have to use a cannon because we're Spyro and we can't fly yet. At least that's out of the speedway. You could also do the speedway now if you wanted to. Okay, I've done enough hinting at things that you should do before you, uh, you go ahead and complete this now. <laughs> oh, well. Backtracking episode is coming, and it's gonna be a big one. That's all I have to say. But enough getting ahead of ourselves. Talking about things that I haven't even started thinking about recording yet. We get nice cutscenes that, like, slow the frame rate down and whatnot and everything and... Whatever. Actually, the frame rate does not slow down for this. That's a lie. It's just that the action does freeze. But we have unveiled a rocket! A rocket! Which has an egg strapped to it. And luckily enough for us, the egg is, as with all eggs in this game, miraculously unharmed by everything, even after slamming itself straight into a cannon. Don't ask me how. But it's greedy that they would survived. If you see Handel, I'm not writing these in. It's completely obvious. Completely. Anyway. Yeah, so she just hinted that her brother is elsewhere in this, and he's basically in charge of all the minigames. And there's three of them, I think. I believe there's three. Yeah, there is three. Um, so Agent Nines is here, and I just spoiled it by, like, 30-whatever. Actually, no, they don't give his name away. Oops. His name is Agent Nine. Sorry for those of you who didn't want it spoiled. Yeah, he's he, he's our uh, our hintity hint 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 next world, hintity hint hint hint, um, friend. Because unlike Spyro 2, there's actually uh, enough worlds to complete one one cycle of the the clock. Because there was no uh, what was it? No spring homeworld. Yeah, there's no spring homeworld in Spyro 2, but there is indeed. A fourth home world to complete our ride around the clock. But that's not a spoiler because that's already actually been shown in the guidebook. If you've forgotten it, oh well, that's probably for the better. 
We will get there soon enough. Now, there were the little rockets around this entire level, and, uh, and you need those rockets to blow up the, the, the little chestity chest chest chests. Because there's no other way to do it. There's not, like, big rockets around or anything. Also, basically, any enemy that has a gem inside of them won't respawn. That's kind of a good rule of thumb, is that if an enemy will give you a gem, they probably won't come back. But let's blow this chest up for a fairly small amount of gems, actually, but... Yeah, we'll worry about that later. It's not like we can complete this level just yet because of that door, so we can't get all the gems yet. So don't forget about gems until you come here for backtracking, and then I've got that to worry about during backtracking! Yay, I'm not looking forward to the backtracking episode if you could not have guessed. Anyway, this one we can do and get out of the way. This is, um... Yeah. Now, what I've never gotten with this, so yes, this is Superfly and Super Flame, but they had a model for it in Spyro 2 that actually had both the Superfly and Super Flame wings and um, fire, respectively, uh, on it. They had a gate like that at the end of Spyro 2. And I'm not really sure why it's not here, to be honest. Uh, one thing as well to be careful about with these dragons is that they will start regenerating their parts over time. Because if you haven't noticed, their parts fly off every time we hit them. They lose one of their little little sections. And uh, you don't want to fly away for too long like I'm doing because they will start to regenerate. Which is why also you should focus one down. Don't sit there and switch back and forth because as you can see there were a couple of smaller bits on the end. Because, well, yeah, he started to regenerate health. But yeah, so just keep on one of them. Focus one down, because once you get it completely down and they completely die, they won't regenerate. But if you look at the health bar, well, yeah, they regenerate over time. As you can see, the, uh, the other one, which I have flamed repeatedly, is still indeed full health. Yeah. But once you get it down, they're dead. So you can actually get it down if you're good at aiming, unlike me. And that one is down indeed. Let's move on to the last one here. We can fly around and get all the gems and, uh, well, go on to our next mission. Because, as you can tell, this isn't that difficult as long as you manage to avoid the, the fiery, fiery breath. If you stay close enough to them, you can actually get a lot of hits on at the same time. Which is a good plan. Don't fall into the lava, though. That's a bad thing. Because this is not a combo power-up with invincibility. You are still obviously susceptible to damage. Don't die. Good advice, right? I hope so. I realized one thing as well the other day when I was looking through more footage is that you don't really see the sheep in this game that often. Like, like in a lot of Spyro games, like the main fodder for Sparks is sheep. And for whatever reason in this game, there's simply not a lot of sheep for fodder. Which is really, really weird if you think about it. Just with Spyro being that well known for sheep. Having sheep as the fodder, fodder, like the first game. Like, see, we have little little lightning bugs here. But the first game was, like, really well known. And by the way, if you haven't noticed as well, this power-up is permanent for as long as you're in this section of the level. There's not a, a time limit to it or anything like that. The, the timer is nowhere to be seen. And just in case you manage to fall down here, they do have a whirlwind that will prematurely pick you up. J just like the second you get down there there are actually I think some gems down there so make sure you get them don't take it as a sign that you can't go down there if you get scooped up instantly but you do want to you, you probably want to really fly down there so that the whirlwind doesn't activate until you like touch the ground but I insisted on doing the hard way and like hovering down and as long as you stay close enough to the side you will be fine but anyway you can see that gem clipping through the side of the thing here which means it's obviously there and we get another healthy thing to replenish our health to full and uh, a couple more vases and we can be done. Right? I think we're pretty close. Oh, no, we've got another uh, wicker basket basket basket. And one more gem deciding on the other side of the thing. Perfect. Anyway, let's get out of here and move on to uh, to another part. Because that would be a good thing to keep making progress. Progressy, progressy, progress. Now, this thing, which was here in the beginning, thankfully opened up for us so that we can indeed fire ourselves out of it and go up to basically the end. 
yay for end of level shortcuts so that we can actually get places anyway i missed a few gems here and there so here is one of them um i didn't kill these runouts because i was just rushing through the level so we can actually go take them out and kill them now so it would probably be a good thing to do there's a couple of gems hidden in this side room here probably want to get them if you're going for 100 percent if not well get them anyway i guess that's my recommendation for you need a rocket for that thing we'll come back for that in a moment i missed the vase get the vase get the vase get the rocket get everything there was a there was a, a, a wicker basket behind the thing yeah okay i saw it good job past me Good job. Goody, goody, goody. Anyway, um, way to go, me. Good, good playing skills. Get in there. <laughs> oh, boy. So there's one other mission here in the level that we can go do now. There's a, well, I mean, obviously, there's the other one that we can't do now. But there's one other that we can do now, in fact. Um, assuming I don't smack my way through my microphone. Probably be a good thing. The other mission is the one we saw on the little sidey side 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 thing. Or the other mission can... Oh, no, wait. Here are these things. So, I, re I forgot about this. Um, the little ninjas on the ceiling actually will stay on the ceiling until you hit their trigger point. So, while you're... If you come in from, like, the backwards part of it, they just, like, stay up top. And you can just look up there. And you can run around in this room all you want because the trigger point for them, like, is on the stairs. And they just stay up there. However, they do have gems, so it is important to kill them, but I just went and got a, grabbed a rocket for the middle one, and the explosion actually just knocked all three of them out. Why not? And I was going to do the same for this last one here, except for in running out the door, I did wind up triggering the uh, him to come running down and, well, try to murder my face off as well, so I was disappointed with the rocket, but I just, well, of course you got to let him have it anyway can't just leave a rocket like that to sit there for no gain anyway I realized as well is that I went if you go around the back here where the other way not the way I went the other way that way in addition to wicker baskets being back here there is actually another another ninja box spawner up here those are obviously what spawn the uh, the ninjas anyway let's go tackle the second mission that I started talking about here a little bit this one is a basically just a little bit of a gauntlet, an enemy gauntlet. So yes, there's an egg behind us. And we just gotta go through this gauntlet to get it. Now it can be a little bit difficult to kill these guys. But uh, if you wanna do the easy thing to do, just skip them honestly. And I just like, died, basically. Yeah, but the easiest way to get these guys is to straight up just pass them for the moment and come back in a little bit. So as you can see, I was just trying to tackle them head on, apply directly to my everything because they throw bombs at me. And I realized that it was a better decision just to uh, just to skip past them because you can't really get behind them super easily because they keep turning to face you once you've gotten their attention. So it's best to kind of just go tackle the gauntlet now, come back in a little bit because, well, gauntlets... There's a lot of enemies here, and you don't want to be taking a lot of damage that quickly. You only get three hits unless you're, like, doing this, like, without sparks in total, and then you only get no hits, and you're like, why did I do this to myself? And I'm just like, I don't know, you should have healed. should have healed before you came down here. Why are you doing this to yourself? But yeah, don't even worry about their armor. Just straight up rocket them when you see them. And you can obviously take one of those rockets back and get the other guys if you haven't gotten their gems yet. Which is an important thing to do because, of course, even though it's a gauntlet, every enemy has gems. I am not sure how we did not murder my face off there. And the answer is just that I need to go steal this rocket, run away, and come back. Or just straight up blast it in his face. Take your pick. Just take it. Just take your pick. Take every second of it. It homes in on him. He dies. You get his gem, and you move right along. Because that's just a good decision, isn't it? 
Now, there's a lot of enemies in this area, so don't think that this is a little safe space, even though once you clear them out, it can be a little safe space. Because they did give you a nice little lightning bug in here to kind of help you through this. And just kind of heal sparks up at least a hit. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I'm going to stop because that kind of hurts. But, um, there's another guy in here. The rockets don't usually do a good enough job, but if they do, you're going to be, like, timing it, like, super, super perfectly. And uh, I'm not super, super perfect. So I attempted this, like, three times and missed every time and just decided to go boss to the wall and go jump in there. Because that's the head-on to apply directly to my everything strategy that I specialize in. I'm great. I am wonderful at this. Because they, like, home slightly. So you kind of can use it, but you also have to time it because they run really slow. But they don't work that well. So let's just take the rocket. Let's just head in there. Let's tackle it head on. Um, and let's come away victorious. Because that seems like a great strategy to me. I don't know about you, but I like being victorious. I'm not sure how we didn't die in that, but uh, I'll take it. We should have died there. Or at least taken some damage. To be fair, Sparks has taken some major hits. Like, forever? Like, holy crap, man. Like, Sparks should not be alive right now. Spyro should probably not be alive either. Like, he's lived through so many explosions, like, over the course of these past three games. Like, you don't even know. Like, how? Anyway, Ninja's tackled. The egg is right here. This is Sam. I don't even have to say anything. Nope. Sam's here. That's fine. Um, sorry, Sam. You're not actually here. Anyway, I just took a rocket here and just blasted this guy's face in just for shits and giggles while I was looking around for gems, and let's get out of here! Because, uh, well, I'm done. With this level basically completely, I think. I don't think I've forgotten anything. Right? Right. But... Even though this is level complete, except for not really at all, because we still have another challenge left ahead of us. Well, this game just gets a little bit interesting after this right now. Because, uh, well, we get a little cutscene. And Hunter does indeed fall for the trap. That's right. There's no more Hunter now, which is why I was hitting you that you should do Hunter missions before. And, like, this episode. Because if you go into a place like this, where Hunter was, um, he just straight up won't be there. Yep. He's just gone. But anyway, back in Evening Lake, level complete. 